Hello everyone, this is Ami Diamond. In this episode, I'd like to show you a new feature in Microsoft Forms to allow respondents to edit their response. So, uh, have you ever sent out a poll or a survey where you sent it to your users and they uh, said, oops, I forgot something, I need to fix it. So now Microsoft just came out with a, a new feature and let's see how we do it. Now, in general, uh, I thought it would be only for internals, but if you have a, a Microsoft account, it seems that you can also edit the response. So let's see how we do it. Let's just click on new form. We're now in Microsoft Forms and we will create a short uh, poll. Let's just call it Paul Army. And I will uh, ask for first name and last name. This is a quick way to fill it out. So once we have this, we will go to the three dots and we will go to settings. There's a new setting now, allow respondents to edit the response. Now, if you don't see that, it might be something that you need to set up in your uh, tenant. Uh, I'll show you later how you do it. You would need to ask your administrator to do that. So we chose this. Now we need to go to collect response and we will co copy the link. Now I'll tr I will try to paste it in a different tab and uh, it will open as I am the employee of this tenant. So you see, I will fill out my name and I will type something and I will submit. I will get a message, your response was submitted the form owner allows you to edit the respond. Save the respond and it could edit later. So we have a button here, save and edit later. What it will do is actually bring me back to the form or to the home page of Microsoft Forms and you will see the latest one is a filled form. I could also see it by one of these new uh, uh, navigation or buttons that I can see all of the field forms that I have uh, filled out. So it first of all saves the result. I can see it and uh, see on the top, you can view it and edit the response. So I can click edit and instead of Ami, I will call myself Ilan and my email is this one. So I have submitted and uh, if I go back now to the form that I have created, you will actually see a response. And if you remember, if I view at the response, um, I, my when I filled it up first, my name was Ami, I changed it to Ilan, and now actually I see this is the latest one. So let's see what happens if, if I change the settings that uh, not only people in the organization, but others. So currently I see I cannot uh, change it, but uh, I can tell you that I tested it uh, before and it was possible if you had a Microsoft account, if it's a Hotmail or Gmail, that it would work. Let's try it with a new form. For some reason, something has changed. So I will create a new form. This time I want it anyone that has this link and let's see how it works. Just a second, let's call this a army demo. Let's add a question, a text. Let's go to settings. For some reason, this uh, anyone that has this response is not activated, uh, but I have tested it. The last thing I wanted to show you is actually if this feature of allow respondents not to edit is not available, you can actually go to the nine dots and go to the admin center and actually under the admin center, we will go to settings and we will go to oak settings and uh, now we will search here for forms. You see, I found Microsoft Forms. Here are some 
settings that you can fill out. Some of them are regarding external sharing. Others are for recording the name of the person to allow YouTube and Bing. Phishing protection. And this is actually the checkbox for respondent actions. Uh, this should be marked. Now, for currently when I'm testing it, even if I save it, uh, press save and I re-enter it, for some reason it does not save it, even though I get this. But maybe it's not uh, still mature. You see, I will ed edit it. I still don't see it. So, just as a summary, now we have the possibility to to check in the settings that uh, respondents can edit. They could save it. It will be saved as field forms. And um, if they have an organization or a 365 account they could, or a Microsoft account, they could edit it. And then that will solve lots of problems for many users. Thank you very much. And when it comes to your tenant, test it. You're invited to subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, click the reminder. Goodbye.